Here we go then, Shaq. You know what's coming. Oh, yeah, I can Everyone. see this coming a million Everyone. miles away. Shaka, is Messi now the greatest of all time? Has anybody been listening to a thing I've been saying for years? Maybe people, maybe just uh, reiterate your, your point, Shaq. My point is, when you have a short list that includes one player who won the World Cup three times, one who won it twice, and another who won it once, until you lift the highest prize in world football and the Ballon d'Or is not, I don't see how you get ahead of them. Don, where do you stand on the messy goat debate? I'm a romantic me, Dan. I'm a Maradona. <laughs> I am. I am. I've, he was my favourite player growing up. I've watched all of his stories. I've watched his life stories. I've watched the journey that he's been on. It's been hard for him because he was living his lifestyle so badly and he got in with the wrong people, but I don't know. I just watched him and I just thought... I mean, Messi's the closest to him, in my opinion. And if anyone favours Messi over Maradona, then fair enough, but I'll always lean towards Maradona. So if Messi had a harder upbringing and socialised with no, the wrong people... No, I just, you know, for what he'd done at Napoli, you know, he went in at Napoli, a provincial club that weren't really going anywhere. And he said, we're going to win the league inside two years. And they'd done that. They won European Cups along the way. He's won World Cups along the way as well, which count for a lot. Uh, I, I, I just see Maradona for me. Maradona. Then Messi. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and the simple, there really is one thing that separates it for me, is the fact that Maradona was able to do what he did in an era where you were allowed to try and scythe people down. Right. Defenders mm -hmm. were allowed to kick, you know what, out of anything that moved. Messi is in an era where he's looked after. Uh, and so that's what separates the two. I think Maradona, the way he played in the middle of all that chaos and people are basically attacking him. People are allowed to do the oh, same wow. to Pele as well. The kicking, he had to deal with that as yeah. well. He, he did, yeah. The, the butcher I, of Bill I, I, Yeah, yeah, I still, I still think... I think with Pele, though, the difference in Pele's era was that not everybody was particularly professional. Mm. I think the calibre of player that, that Pele was playing against a lot of the time was pr pretty poor. Whereas Maradona, I, you talk about an ultra-professional defensive era. Yeah, I, listen, I, 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 challenge the, I challenge the notion that South American football was not that good back then. Back then, South Americans, there weren't as many South Americans going to Europe. So the league in football in South America was a lot stronger then than it is now. So this kind of notion that, well, because Pele only did it in South, in, in South America, I think the kind of um, assumption that South American football, the difference between South American and European football is as great as <coughs> now, I think it's false. I, I, I don't think it was, it was that big. Professional yeah, no, I, I, yeah, no I'm, I'm just saying in general. I'm just saying in general some the, some uh, when people kind of dismiss um, Pele's accomplishments. Uh, Don very percentage. argumentative, Shaq, isn't he, tonight, Dan? He's a bit Hold argumentative, on, Shaq, isn't he? Shaq, I did say he was third best ever. <laughs> no, I'm going best not ever. Exactly. I'm going he's best not ever. exactly slagging him. Oh, yeah, well, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not argumentative, Don. Watch yourself. Shaq was in such a good mood. <laughs> yeah. in such a, Jan wound you up. It just, it, I, didn't, I didn't understand the argument. Wow, well, that was clear. <laughs> uh, Don, percentage that Lewandowski gets robbed again next year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 100%. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Don, yeah. what did you make of the new award they created, the Best Striker oh. Award, like a consolation prize? <laughs> oh, it was it was horrible, wasn't it? It was like, we're just going to create an award just to try and keep them happy because we know Messi's going to get the Ballon d'Or. It was just a it bit rubbish, wasn't it? It would have been great if he'd said, you know what, you know what you can do, you know, Wald. Yeah. yeah. That would have been brilliant. Just throwing it on yeah, the floor. He's, oh. you know, he's not going to do that, yeah. though. He's <laughs> no. going, he's, he's, It'd be great if he'd He's going to take a photo of himself in his bed with that one now, too. Ooh, Don, how criminal has the Chelsea propaganda machine been to have allowed Jorginho to place that highly in the Ballon d'Or rankings when he's not even top five in his club <laughs> or country? <laughs> Here we go. Oh. What a Chelsea propaganda. What does... I mean, Shaka obviously doesn't rate Jorginho. I don't know why you don't like him, Shaka. I mean, you said earlier that Kante carried Jorginho to a Champions League win. Alongside so Donnarumma, I thought he was Italy's best player in the Euros. I don't Who's know the why they dislike for him, Shaq. 
Who's the fan? I, 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 don't, I don't dislike Jorginho. I just don't think he's in Ballon d'Or reckoning. I think to the question, there was this campaign less by Chelsea and more by, by Italian football. Oh. Chelsea added, Chelsea, Chelsea contributed, don't get me wrong. And saying that, it's not just Jorginho. Is this, is this kind of weird, all of a sudden, people campaigning? No, Jules I, was the same with Benzema, going interviewing him, I, I don't him. Under, I really don't understand why countries and clubs is campaigning now for Ballon d'Or, yeah. which is the weirdest thing for me. I, had, I, I don't had understand Shaq, it. Though. He's had Shaq, and he? he's had an unbelievable 12 months, Jorginho. No, I, you know, you win I, the Euros, I, I, I you win the Champions I, League. I get good. that. I, I, I get that. I mean, it really has been an outstanding 12 months for him. but. I, I don't. Maybe the campaigning got me angry, and I just don't see Jorginho in, in that. I, I suppose. I suppose the I, argument is you could make Chelsea and Italy could have won both of those without Jorginho, couldn't they, Don? Uh, yeah, I mean, I get the argument. But I, I think that's. I think that's, props that's the key. It. For example, Argentina probably wouldn't have won Copa America if they didn't have Messi. Mm. I, I get the argument, but you've still got to. You've still got to give him the props for actually doing it. You can't just say, well. If they weren't there, they still would have won the Champions League. If, if he didn't play for Italy, they still would have won the Euros. We'll never know. But the fact that he's lifted the trophies and his performances for Chelsea were brilliant along the way. You know, for a player that I don't think gets a lot of love in the Premier League, I, I can remember a lot of pundits 18 months ago saying he's slow, he's got no personality, it doesn't really affect the game. If you're playing against him, you can run off him. And I see, I see him being a completely different player. I see him... I see, I see him, I've had lots of personality. Oh, he is, no. You know, I, I go back to when my mate was a manager, when Frank was there, I spoke to him about Jorginho <laughs> and Jody Morris, and they said, when we're in trouble, we had to get him in the side because he demands the ball. Because we were young and they were going through a bad period, he was the one that said, get me on the ball. Give me, give me a ball when there's a player playing against me. I want it, I demand it. I think he's a wonderful player. I, I suppose, I suppose I, so, here's the thing, Don. If you, if you just watch football for 12 months and then yeah. you were to pick a team, would Jorginho yeah. be the first person on the team sheet? Probably not, but then I, I dare say well, Messi wouldn't be neither. Well, it, well so it would be what? Let, in, the last in the last 12 months... It'd be months, done a rumour. In the last 12 he's months... Messi. He's all beating the drum on Messi I, I'm, again. I'm, not, I'm just beating the drum a little bit ahead of someone like Jorginho not, because not, football's Dan, different, last, isn't it? In the last not, 12 Messi's months... Messi's not been good in the last 12 months. Oh, come Stevie, come, come on, man. He's he's not, Argentina won Copa America because he's of Messi. Not, he's Dan, not, he hasn't. What are you doing? I'll tell you what. He hasn't. Because it's Copa America. Well, argue it doesn't count. I'll tell you what I'll argue with you then. It was a tournament over four weeks. Right. What's the Euros? Well, what's the Champions League? But we're, talk, it, we're talking about Jorginho oh, and the Euros, aren't but, we? But you got to say, but you can't. You seriously, you can't tell me Messi's been the best player over the. Are you telling me months? that you would pick Jorginho seriously. in your I never team said that. ahead I'm of Lionel Messi if you just watched for 12 months? If I was picking a team, right? Yes. And I had to pick forwards, I wouldn't pick Messi. Uh, no. <laughs> I would not pick you Messi. Wouldn't, you wouldn't have Messi. In the front three, I would not pick Messi. Dan, because he hasn't done any PSG for last two months. Let me tell Is that it? So what was he doing at Barcelona? He wasn't doing them, anything. dragging them, he trying to get them to compete. Oh, trying, yeah, it was down to him. Of course he was, Stevie, look where they are now. But Dan, They're in eighth in the league. league. <laughs> so, but Dan, are you telling me they'd be top of the league if he was still there? I'm saying they would be a lot higher. Dan? Yeah, go on, go on, Dan. Dan, if that's your logic, then if you're going to pick your best 11, then probably Jorginho is not in your best 11. You probably wouldn't put Messi in your best 11, and you probably wouldn't put Ronaldo in your best 11 over the last 12 months. You wouldn't. You'd pick what? Of course, you I would. wouldn't. You'd pick what you think Ronaldo. is your best eleven. Tell, no, I'd put Messi in my eleven. You, you've got you to tell wouldn't. me who I'd pick. I would. You wouldn't put Messi in. <laughs> but I would. You wouldn't. Because... You'd, you'd have Lewandowski and you'd have Haaland and you'd have Mbappe and the list goes on and on and on. You wouldn't. You wouldn't have him in. Stevie, originally you didn't think Thiago <laughs> would be a fit for Liverpool, but he has had a but good run like... recently. He's Did your opinion change? Yeah, yeah. Well, you mean he scored two goals? It's not me. Don't be angry with me. Yeah, it doesn't fit. I don't believe he fits particularly well with the way Liverpool play. OK. Why are players on the bench never dressed and ready to go into the game? You always see them having to put their shin pads on and go dig their go jersey on. out from under the go seat. On. Does that not drive managers crazy? Don, can you explain to everybody what Ronnie Moran would be like? <laughs> oh, if that oh honestly, honestly, if you're not ready, Dan, in Ronnie Moran's team, 
he would look at you and he'd just say, don't bother and put wow. someone else on. It drives me up the wall how you're not ready. <laughs> Shaka, were you on the bench, gloves on, ready to rock? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was chilling. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, it's not, it's not like they just have to put the shin guards in. They're all cheap. They're all getting changed and, yeah. and putting shorts on and tops on and everything. It's like what? Yeah. Oh, bro. Oh, and we're done. Drive you absolutely mental. A f final question. Away from the Ballon d'Or, Shaka, give us your top five goalies in order. Uh -huh. And Stevie, will you be getting your next haircut? And what formation will it be? <laughs> I'm going to. I'm hopefully getting a cut tomorrow. I sent Mona. Uh, yeah, three and a two. It will not be a three and a two. I'll tell you that. Well, no, they get drag it. That was, that that was, was good last session. Go that on, Stevie. Get a three and a two. Get a two and a three. That was fun. Oh. Um, that was top five goalkeepers, Shaq, go. Uh, in order. All right. I need to think this through. Okay. I'm going to ask. I'm, I'm going to. Off the back of yesterday, Don, what do you have on your pizza? I'm, well, I have a little thing. What five. pizza? What pe oh, you, don't, you don't like pizza, do you? Mendy. No, I do. I, I do. I, I didn't have one yesterday. Don't rumor. <laughs> no, no I got just hot. in general. We were talking, we were talking about, <laughs> we were talking about oh, pizza toppings. Oh, I got hot, Dan. No, no. Oh, I Are you a spicy I meat? Go, like I, go, I, go, as well, I got man. American hot. I right, got American, American hot. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Steve, Shaka, go. I've given you enough time. I think another one. All right. Um, I'm not sure about Noia, you know. Or Black. Okay, this is like Andanovich. Andanovich. Oh. Well. It's like Family Feud. Still going right, there. top five. Well, there's a couple of them that would normally be straight in that I've had a Yeah, but it's not, you're not in the See, no, here, 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 here's, here's, you're here's, I, I've got five. Oh, All right. Well, I'm not sure caught. this is the order. I'm not sure this I'll is the order. I'll get me caught then. All right, no, hold on, Stevie. I need you. I need you, Stevie. I need you. What do you need, Stevie? I'm going to get me caught. I need you. I need you, Stevie. Andanovich done. Noya. Five. Mendy. Four. No, I know. I'm, 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 I'm just throwing out five. Oh, I haven't decided on the order. Oh, it's been a long day. I've got Navas and Donnarumma, and they both you know, kind of swap in his shirt. Right. Now I don't have Handanovic in there. Don't. No. I heard the Who, fourth I have Alisson. Right. Who's number one? Who's the best goalkeeper in the world at the moment? We're going with the number one. Stevie. Well, just stop, stop talking to Stevie. I'll, I'll Stevie. You're not allowed to confer. It's an individual rap. Okay. It's hard to, number one. It's hard to look past right. Alisson. Mendy. <laughs> Mendy. And Mendy. Yeah, I'm... I'm and Mendy. Hold on. Did we do this voting the other day? I, when, for, 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 for work thing? I, yeah, that was a while ago. A few the FC 100. Ago. Yeah. Yeah, and your boy did it anyway, wasn't you? No, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did all 100. <laughs> I did all 100. Right. Who, right. Well, who's number one, Jack? Come on, this is taking huh? ages. Well, Alison, then Mendy. That's where you go? Oh. OK. Mendy. Right. Yep. Alison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um... Navas, mm. Neuer, no, Navas, Donnarumma, Neuer. Wow, okay, we got there in the end. That is it. Thank you very much. What a show. Crikey, O'Reilly. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Don. Go and get some rest. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow for more midweek games, isn't there? Right across the board in most of the big European leagues. We'll be looking back at some of those and looking ahead. Um, it's Merseyside Derby, isn't it, Stevie? On Wednesday? Oh, it'll be exciting for Everton. Right.